The Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 is more than just our favorite laptop in flip-around form. It's thinner, completely fanless, and there's a new dynamic power mode that gives you more speed when you need it. But the sleek 999 convertible has its share of trade-offs too. Here at Laptop Magazine and Perch Labs, we carefully test hundreds of laptops and other computers every year to help you make the right choice for your needs and wallet. The XPS 13 is easily the most compact 2-in-1 in its class. Because of its near borderless display, there's virtually no bezel. It takes up a lot less room on an airline tray than an HP Spectre X360 or Lenovo Yoga 910. This Dell is very thin too, measuring barely half an inch. You get USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 ports, as well as a micro SD card reader, but you have to sacrifice a full-size USB port. We still love the carbon fiber finish on the lid and deck, and the steel hinges are super strong. Dell claims they'll survive 20,000 opens. You can use these hinges to strike all sorts of poses, whether you're flicking through flipboard in tablet mode, giving a presentation in stand mode, or binge watching in tent mode. If you want to get creative, Dell is also selling an optional active pen, letting you take full advantage of all of the inking features in Windows 10. We're glad Dell stuck with 1.3 millimeters of key travel. It provides fairly snappy feedback, although it's a bit softer than the regular XPS. They also listen to customers and change the layout so that you now get dedicated keys for page up, page down, home, and end. Beneath the keyboard, you'll find a fingerprint reader, which lets you log in instantly via Windows Hello. Dell also included an infrared camera underneath the screen for using facial recognition to log in, but that won't be enabled until after the next big Windows update. Like the regular XPS 13, the main camera is beneath the screen, so people will stare at your chin while you Skype in laptop mode. You're better off just flipping the display around to make sure the webcam is on top. The screen is gorgeous, giving you a bright and vivid picture with more than 100% of the color gamut, and it's available in either HD or QHD resolution. In order to achieve a fanless design, Dell opted for an Intel Y-series processor instead of the more powerful U-series found in other 2-in-1s. However, through a new dynamic power mode, the system can automatically boost the CPU frequency in real time, giving you more performance when you need it, while keeping the temperatures comfy. On Geekbench 4, which measures overall performance, the XPS 13 2-in-1 with a Core i5 Y-series chip blew past the Acer Spin 7 which has a supposedly faster Core i7-Y CPU. Yet, other convertibles with Intel's more robust U-series processor scored significantly higher. It's worth noting that you can step up to a Core i7-Y series CPU on the Dell if you're willing to pay more. When it comes to endurance, the XPS 13 2-in-1 is better than average, but not great. The system lasted about eight and a half hours on our web surfing battery test. This runtime obliterates the Acer, but it falls short of the more than 10 hours turned in by both the Spectre X360 and Yoga 910. The XPS 13 2-in-1 starts at 999. You get a Core i5 processor, four gigs of RAM, and a 128 gig SSD, along with a full HD touchscreen. We reviewed a Core i5 model that cost $200 more. It has twice the RAM and a bigger and faster SSD. If you're willing to spend over two grand, Dell offers a Core i7 configuration with 16 gigs of RAM, a whopping one terabyte SSD, and a higher resolution touchscreen. If you love the borderless display on the Dell XPS 13, but you're looking for something a little bit more versatile, the XPS 13 2-in-1 is definitely worth buying. It's not the fastest in its class, and we wish it lasted a little bit longer on a charge, but overall, we love its combination of power, portability, and comfort in a very slick design. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Mag.